Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're talking to Jason Wyatt from Marketplacer, who's going to explain some exciting new technological innovations and strategies the company are currently developing. Thanks for coming along, Jason, and welcome to the jam. Oh, thanks, Mitchell. It's, it's great to be here. Fantastic. And first off, congratulations on your $38 million capital raise now it's early this week. That's fantastic. Um, for someone who's not familiar with Marketplacer and the way you guys work, can you provide a bit of an overview on the company? Yeah, so ultimately the problem we solve is um, um, helping people create marketplaces um, all over the world. And often people ask me, is, well, what's a marketplace, right? So, uh, but ultimately where the, the market is heading is um, if you've got a large cohort of customers, you're an existing retailer business, you, you, you sell existing products to customers. The ultimate problem that Marketplace solves is the ability to connect up and sell um, things that aren't in your warehouse, things that you haven't invented, things that um, you, know, you don't have to ship and, and you can scale with limitless boundaries around it. Fantastic. Um, and so can, in terms of a Marketplace strategy, can you um, explain what that is um, essentially and what are the kind of technological innovations that make it possible to succeed and scale up? I think there's really two types of marketplaces if you really simplify it down. There's um, you know, the, the consolidation of an industry, you have a problem that needs to be consolidated and there's incredible stories behind that. So you, know, you think of Airbnb, what they were able to do is consolidate. If you, the problem they were solving is you wanted to go on holiday, you wanted to go on holiday, but you don't want to stay in a hotel. So, but what they were able to do is pull an experience and wrap that together and solve the simple problem of ease, convenience, and choice into a single destination and made it a wonderful experience around building that marketplace. And then ultimately they, you actually, because they built brand and they built processes around the trust of that consumer experiences, you now feel like when you order or you book a holiday on Airbnb, it's as safe and as convenient and, and it's as easy as, as booking it on uh, a, a, you know, a, a consolidated hotel booking engine. And if you take that mindset is what we're finding across the globe is there's um, really large organizations who are starting to value the most important thing in their business. And that most important thing is their customer. Um, so when we think of large retail businesses, um, it, it's understanding their real customer needs and wants but often what you find in business is constraints around, I can't, I've got enough capital to buy enough inventory or I haven't got, I've got no space in my warehouse to, to try new innovative ideas. Um, and what Marketplace solves is the ability to plug the Marketplace of software engine into your existing e-commerce engine so you can start to be innovative and ultimately you can start to grow in a way that you weren't able to grow before. That's awesome. And kind of following on from that, what are the types of uh, business opportunities available for those who launch a marketplace? And when is the right time for an enterprise to launch a marketplace? Yeah, so it's a really interesting question in when's the right opportunity or when's the right opportunity that you want to grow your business more? Is, is this sort of like a, a double-edged sword? And then, um, you know, when's the right sort of timing behind it is... It, 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 what's interesting about a marketplace strategy, it's the next big thing in commerce. We've gone through a generational change in COVID. Like, like never before in our generation have we had hardship and change. And if you want to understand what change management means, go home to your partner, your wives, your loved ones tonight and ask them to sleep on the other side of the bed. That's how much people didn't like change before, but we've had so much change in our lives. So when's the right time to do it? My view is, is when you've had 50 years of change overnight, which is what we've just lived through, the world has changed forever and there's never a moment in history that has the opportunity that we've got to create a marketplace like today. Totally. Um, and in terms of marketplace as a business, can you tell us some of your most kind of recent success stories and um, what you've achieved for these organisations? It's been really interesting, right? Because no different to any organization, you, you, know, have, you, you have your early adopters, you have the, the mavericks of the world. And we've got some incredible success story around mavericks. Um, Provador um, 
it was in the Australian market, but during COVID, um, a, a famous celebrity chef here, Shane Delia, had some institutional restaurants and, um, and basically rang us up and said, you know, I'm in a lot of trouble. I've got three restaurants. I've got a uh, hundred staff. I've got, I'm going to go broke. There's no question, but I've got this glimmer of hope in it. I've got, I've come up with this idea to be able to deliver food um, and take the magic of a restaurant to the home in a really convenient way. So it's pre-chopped, it's pre-cut. You just kind of put it together. You actually don't know how you put it together in your home when you got it. And we were able to partner with Providor and launch a marketplace in a five week period during the pandemic. And, and now that business is on like hundreds and hundreds of million dollar run rates. It's got the best restaurants, the best restaurants in the country. And every restaurant that's on Providor, it's like having Christmas week for a restaurant every single week. So it's an incredibly humbling experience to be able to save, not only come up with a good idea, but completely save an industry during the middle of a um, pandemic. But most importantly, to eat hungry Australians with the magic of the restaurant in their homes. So you've got these mavericks that are innovators and it's been an incredible journey to go through. And then on the flip side of it, is we've got these businesses like Woolworths. You know, it, it's it's the largest retail business in the Australian um, economy. And they've said for exactly the reasons I spoke through, provide ease, convenience and choice, value in the customer. I can't buy enough things to put in my warehouse. I can't ship everything myself. Is that they've said I can grow. Like imagine talking to a $90 billion retailer for a humbling experience in your life and saying the only way we can grow is by doing a marketplace. Now that's a pretty humbling moment in life and we're very fortunate to be able to have that story. And then the third really interesting one, and we've got a couple of, we won Optus yesterday and now it's Optus yesterday, but like Qantas. So Qantas is an icon, isn't it? Like if you, if you said to every single Australian, what is Qantas? They know the brand and it's very, very, very rare that you get to work with a 100% recall of a brand-based business in your life, and we're fortunate enough to be able to do that. But the problem we're solving for Qantas was an interesting one where they've got one of the best, if not the best, loyalty program for their customers in the world. You can earn more points, you can buy more things. And they created this amazing business on the corner shop where you could buy everything on the corner shop. But what ultimately happened is they couldn't scale it because they didn't have the expertise of marketplace from the technology behind it, but ultimately the true partnership that we've been able to do with Qantas and scale in, in growing now a very, very wonderful success story for both of us. Yeah, that's awesome. It's, it's really cool to see um, that kind of ad adaption taking place. Um, so if someone wanted to get in touch with you guys um, at marketplace, so what would be the best way? The, the best way is always just to connect either via our website um, reach out to any of us on LinkedIn. We're very, very social people. And um, and if it, if we can help in any way, and if it doesn't work out, that's completely fine, but we'd love to, we'd love to hear from you. Oh, fantastic. Thanks so much for joining us uh, today. And I look forward to hearing more from uh, Marketplacer. Uh, thanks, Mitchell. It's great to be part of your community.